how to make skirt at home in as authentic way as possible. In the previous video, we explained what skirt is and the difference from the marketing myths. The main points to remember from the previous video are, skir is a fresh acid set cheese, or also called sour milk cheese, like cork or cottage cheese. Due to the lack of research, we actually do not have any particular confirmed specification of the bacterial cultures used traditionally back in the previous centuries. The authentic texture of the skir made in a traditional way is thick but creamy and the traditional taste varies from slightly sour for a freshly made skir to very sour for older generations. Traditional skir can be made with or without rennet as both methods can be used. As the traditions of making skir have been known for at least 10 centuries, we do not consider skimmed milk as a traditional milk just because it is a recent invention. However, you can always use skim milk when making it at home. So how to make an authentical made skir at home? There are two ways, and they both require ready yogurt or kefir in case you wish to use mesophilic culture and yeast and deliver a bit milder taste. One, firstly, please use any combination of cultures to make yogurt or kefir. Then once ready, you can start with the actual process of making skir. Two, take whole dairy cow's or sheep milk and heat it to 95 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Three, Stir the milk throughout this process to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the saucepan. Remove the saucepan from the heat and set aside at room temperature. Let it cool to 39 degrees Celsius or 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Four, add one to three tablespoons of ready yogurt or kefir to the cooled milk and stir well. Five, cover the container with a thick towel and keep in a warm, draft-free place, oven, or an insulated cooler for 10 to 12 hours or less if you use an electric yogurt maker. Six, keep an eye on the mix with no stirring and shaking and when separated in curds and whey, strain with very fine cheesecloth for a few hours and refrigerate. The second method is when using rennet. One, Firstly, please use any combination of cultures to make yogurt or kefir. Then, once ready, you can start with the actual process of making skir. Two, take whole dairy cow's or sheep milk and heat it to 95 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Three, stir the milk throughout this process to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the saucepan. Remove the saucepan from the heat and set aside at room temperature. Let it cool to 39 degrees Celsius or 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Four, add one to three tablespoons of ready yogurt or kefir to the cooled milk and stir well. Five, cover and leave at room temperature for an hour, allowing the bacteria to start the fermentation. Six, after an hour or so, add one to three drops of rennet to a tablespoon of water, and then add this to the mixture, which at this point is still liquid. You can add the rennet immediately after the bacteria culture. Seven, cover the container with a thick towel and keep in a warm, draft-free place, oven, or an insulated cooler for 10 to 12 hours or less if you use an electric yogurt maker. Eight, strain with very fine cheesecloth for a few hours and refrigerate. As you can see, it's not that difficult to make it at home, although it might take some time. For the specific instructions and step-by-step -step tutorials, please refer to our website, blog, forum, watch the other YouTube videos, or download the Yogurt app, www.yogurtathome.com, forum.yogurtathome.com, www.yogurtathome.com slash blog.